Welcome to another edition of Let Carm Cook. We were off last week traveling, but I wish I could put the Circa stats up there. Uh, and my Let Carm Cooks are, plays are always my Circa five plays that week. Four and one, let's see if we can get you another four and one, five and a week. And let's kick it off with the Cleveland Browns. Yes, I'm taking the Cleveland Browns minus one and a half. The post Watson era is off to a solid start as they beat the Ravens last week. And uh, I'm going to look to ride a bit of a mini run with this uh, Cleveland team uh, to keep their very, very, very faint playoff hopes alive. They probably have to go 7-2 and two, uh, to close out the season to have a chance to make the playoffs. I don't see that happening, but I do see a win here at home. Cleveland minus one and a half. Play number two, not the prettiest game of the weekend. New Orleans Saints minus seven and a half. Yes, why would you lay seven and a half points? Derek Carr returns before he was injured in five games, 70.3 completion rate, uh, 989 yards of passing. Bryce Young going for the Panthers. They are tanking their season. Panthers are one in seven against the spread this season. 29th ranked offense, traded away their best offensive player, Deontay Johnson, to the Ravens. I'm not sure who they're passing to now. And the uh, Saints are 5-1 in one, their last six against the spread uh, versus NFC South opponents. I'll lay the 7.5 here. Grudgingly, but I'll take it. Rams, minus 1.5. Rams are getting healthy at the right time, guys. Uh, offensive linemen coming back, wide receivers getting healthy. And it's the right time because this division is absolutely up for grabs. You normally don't see Seattle getting points at home two weeks in a row for them. That's got to tell you something as well, too. Give me the Rams, minus one and a half. New England, plus three and a half. Yes, hold your nose on this one. I am taking the Patriots. Uh, maybe beating the Jets isn't one of the greatest accomplishments you can do, given the way the Jets are playing right now. But here's a weird stat and something that makes sense. Teams that have faced the Detroit Lions this year are 0-6 in their next game and have lost by a combined 103 points. That's Tennessee, and I'm taking the plus 3.5 here with the Patriots. And we'll close it off with the Lions, laying 3.5. The status of uh, Jordan Love is still unknown at taping. Uh, if he doesn't play, they're going to cover this one. And even if he does play, he's not going to be 100%. This is a Detroit team that I believe is the best team in football right now. Sorry, KC fans. They are the best team in football right now. I will lay the three and a half here with the Detroit Lions. That's your card. Five plays. Cleveland minus one and a half. New Orleans Saints minus seven and a half. The LA Rams minus one and a half. New England plus three and a half. And the Detroit Lions minus three and a half. Am I a chalk eating weasel? Well, we have one dog in there and a couple dogs uh, at the pound in Cleveland. So uh, we will see if we can have a five in a week. Guys, big plays up this weekend. Get them over at Wager Talk and use coupon code FBALL50 if you want $50 off the rest of the college football season. I'm number two at Wager Talk amongst all cappers in college football. And you can use that same code for the rest of the NFL season, $50 off. Number one last year and starting to put together a very good run as well, too. For, for myself and the Wager Talk family, thanks for tuning in, guys, and we'll see you next week.